In the United States, adults view black girls as less innocent and more adult-like than their white peers starting as young as five years old. This is known as adultification bias. A groundbreaking study by Georgetown Law Center on poverty and inequality found that adults believe black girls need less nurturing, less protection, less support, and less comforting. And related studies show that black girls are punished at a disproportionate rate in schools and the juvenile justice system. These statistics reveal an alarming reality, but do they reflect the experiences of black girls and women? Females of today, young females, a problem for you all is these lavish gowns and the deep neck and the cleavage and the, I mean, they're spending thousands of dollars for a dress for a prom. That was unheard of, you know, years ago. A prom was, you get a little nice little dress, not a gown, you know, your parents drop you off and there was a, uh, you know, school dance. Now you're at these high uh, price hotels. You know, you got these lavish, expensive cars pulling up. I'm, and I'm saying, I see it, but I also feel on one side, you all are pushed to be under the pressure of this is what you all have to buy by. Now these are the new guidelines. makes it harder when you just said it's not harder for men because nothing has really changed for men the the the, the thing that men deal with my age or 10 years from now whatever but this is where the biggest difference is but what i see for me is there were more values and morals you know, placed upon us then, you know. You do carry yourself as a young lady. You wait, you know, for a man one day to, you get involved with him, but. Here, we're back in my day, we were at home. Our parents were not allowing you to be, you weren't allowed to be out there talking to any grown up adults. It was totally different. So even when you say that, you had said something about, y'all do carry yourself so much more mature than what we did. And I say that to say, the pressure of what you all are dealing with now in society was not the same. Things were so much slower. We were still out going to parties, doing the basic things, but getting back home at a decent time. I see kids now, the pressure, not only the social pressure, um, they are out all night long, not getting rest, um, having to work, you know, like, Grown adults, I, and I think black women and girls also told us that adults stereotype them as too loud, aggressive, or angry, and see black girls' actions as threatening and disrespectful. It's the social pressure, it's society, what society is saying, this is what it should look like. I hate social media. I really hate social media because I feel like 
it puts the pressure on younger females right now. This is what it's supposed to look like. And each day, it's a new script. Oh, this is out now, and so this is the way, this is what we need to go. We need to go in this direction. Or tomorrow we're going to sway, and the girls now are, you know, like, everybody is supposed to be a certain size. So you have to walk around with this waist belt on, make your ribs, sque I mean, squeeze your waist in. All these unhealthy things, um, your hairstyle, if you're not wearing your hair all the way down your back, everybody's putting all these chemicals in their hair, you know, it's just... Every day is something different. It's harder for women growing up is because nothing is off limits. Thank you.